Okay, I actually did shave my head, but isn't that a great title? How crazy would that be if I actually did that? If I actually came on here and I, my hair was still long and I was like, yep, the whole thing was a farce. I faked my own Instagram photos. I got my friends to fake their wedding photos just for a video. I somehow have like the best filter on any video ever that's like the most convincing head shaved filter. I come on here, my hair's actually longer than it was before. It's like down to my shoulders. That's right, I actually got my hair lengthened. I'm like putting my hair up into a little bun at the start of the video. Well, everyone, welcome back to another video on this very fine day on the second channel. Got a little bit of sparkling water here, which I will be blurring. No free promo for you, vague sparkling water company. I have to say, a lot of people probably saw I was just in Europe for a couple weeks, and I think possibly one of my favorite parts of the whole trip, aside from like my friends getting married, was that like uh, every restaurant just like automatically serves sparkling water. They come around and they're like, you guys want sparkling water? And you're like, hell yeah. And they bring it over. I was sipping this the whole time I was gone, dude. I was getting goofy and wacky, quite frankly. We are gonna be doing another subreddit video here today. So let's go ahead and click on top and let's click on of the month. I don't remember the last time I did a subreddit video, but I feel like it was like a month ago, so let's freaking get into it. Oh, and the very first post is about how me and Laura ran a marathon. Wow, thank you guys. Yeah, it's just a picture of us both holding our medals, and I'm sure the caption is also congratulating us, so... Oh yeah. Danny ran so fast his hair is still at the starting line. I actually broke the world record for a marathon. Not for the speed or anything, not not my time. I just broke the record as the first person to run so fast that my hair was actually shorter at the finish line than it was at the starting line. No one's ever done that before. At this point we need a hair mega thread, LOL. Yeah, so it's my understanding that after I posted pictures of my newly shaved head, the subreddit was just in disarray. People like could not stop posting about it. Every single post was just being like, why do you do that? What's it? What's what's wrong? What happened? It's been an interesting couple of weeks to see how people have reacted to me cutting my hair. Not just on the subreddit, but like every single social media I have, the comments are. Quite frankly, they're unhinged. If we go to this TikTok I posted with my freshly shaved head, the top comment is, Danny, you better be joking, hell nah. And that has 38,000 likes. We have no Danny, Danny Y, no. I mean, just scrolling down here, you can see the reception was lukewarm at best. Please tell me it's just a prank, bro. I need to know it's just a prank. Danny Y, that seems to be the overwhelming sentiment, is people just at, like wondering why I, why I did this. So look, do you want me to tell you why I shaved my head. Do you need an explanation? Do I even want to give an explanation? Honestly, it's my hair. Do I need to explain every like minor change to my appearance that I make? All right, I'll tell you. Honestly, there's not really any big reason to it. I think I got the idea because last time I got my hair cut, I was talking to my barber. I was telling him I was running a marathon soon and on the way out, he was like, well, if you wanna, you know, shave your head or anything right before the marathon, I'll let me know. Come back in and I'll shave your head. And I think he was just joking, but it kind of got me thinking like, huh, maybe I do want to shave my head before the marathon. It also got me thinking like, is that a thing? Like, why did he say that? Was it to be like more aerodynamic or does he think I would look good with a shave? I don't know. I, to this day, I still don't know what he meant. But it did get me thinking and I was like, I, I never have shaved my head before. I wonder what it would look like. I don't even know what the shape of my head is. My hair's always been pretty long. What if I shave my head and I have this like insane shaped head? What if I look like one of those like ancient Mayan skulls they find that are shaped like alien skulls? possible. Yeah, I kind of just wanted to see what it would look like and I also wanted to do something kind of crazy for the marathon just to kind of like match the intensity of the marathon. I wanted an intense haircut. I just wanted to do something crazy for the marathon. Also, I thought it would be kind of funny. I thought it would be funny to see how I would look with a bald head because I thought I would look pretty goofy and I thought it would be funny to see how people reacted to me shaving my head and it was pretty funny. I mean, most of the reactions are pretty funny. They're just like people being like, oh, whoa, like super surprised. I will say, even though I did do it a little bit just to see people's reactions, some people's reactions were, were too much. There were definitely people that I did not realize were a little bit too invested in like what my hair looks like. So that is, you know, that's good to know going forward. You guys are haters. He looks good. Yeah, no, for real. I was pleasantly surprised. I think he looks fire. No, he doesn't. Don't give him any ideas. Nobody say anything nice about him. He might keep it. Next video, I tricked everyone into thinking I cut my hair. That is gonna be the title of this video, so. Kind of an epic comment moment. I was looking at my grandpa's army company photo from 1957, Fort Dix, New Jersey, and found Danny. Okay, yeah, I see it. Honestly, the smile, I think, is what's throwing me off a little bit. Like, that doesn't really look like how, well, I, actually, I kind of do smile like that sometimes as a joke. I kind of like, 
But it looks like he smiles like that for real. I don't think he's doing it ironically. I don't think he's doing like an ironic army photo shoot. If I was really in the army, I'd probably smile like this. <laughs> Unless I was really scared. I feel like I would probably be pretty scared in the army. Then I might smile like this. That does kind of look like how he's smiling. He's like me, but scared. This has got to be one of the best ones I've seen, LOL. 95% of the time, I never see the correlation between the Danny clones and the actual Danny. But damn, this one is spot on. Okay. I mean, I fuck with it. If everyone else sees it, I'll agree. You could literally post a picture of like an otter and say, this looks like me. And if it got enough upvotes and enough people agreed, I would probably get on here and be like, I guess I see it. Yeah, uh, sure, of course. <laughs> I also am like a little water weasel. I hold hands with my wife as we float down the river together. I'm an otter. I'm, yeah, I forget. I guess I, I guess I always forget about that. Thank you. We're getting some critical thinking in the subreddit. I saw some people when I posted my most recent main channel video being like, look, he didn't really shave his head. He didn't really shave his head. Oh, look, I know we just got back from vacation like two days ago. So he probably filmed this video before vacation, meaning before he shaved his head. But this means he didn't shave his head. Y'all gotta use some critical thinking, man. Junior Sean, you are critical. You have a critical brain. My praying mantis loved Danny and he just died. So I'm posting this to honor him. Oh. Aww. Wow, what a sweet little guy. There he is. There he is. Well, I'm sorry about your praying mantis, dude. It looks like he's been, you know, following me for a while, honestly. He's been kind of a Greg since whenever I posted this video, like two years ago. How long do praying mantises live? Larger species may live four to six months. I guess it is an insect. I assumed he's been alive for years and he's been like following me all this time. He's kind of a newer fan, all things considered. Four to six months? Yeah, honestly, he hasn't even really been with me through thick and thin. He hasn't really like seen the ups and downs of my channel. I was thinking this guy was like a long-term fan, but yeah, I mean, I guess it's sad that he died, sure. No, I'm sorry about your praying mantis. That is sad. I hope that you're able to buy a new one that is better. I hope that your next one is better. I'm sorry for your loss. He was a true Greg, frowny face. It did seem like he was a Greg, to be fair. Actually, all the videos are full screen. I wanted to look at, to see if he had notifications on, but. Rip Danny, hope the praying mantis is doing well though. Oh, the praying mantis didn't die, I did. My praying mantis loved Danny and he just died. So I'm posting this to honor him. Damn, I'm sorry for your praying mantis that his favorite creator just died, dude, that sucks. Literally any white guy. Is it just me or does he look like Danny? That's me too, honestly. Any white guy or, you know, otter that the subreddit posts, this is me. <laughs> just like me, it's like looking in a mirror. Guys, Danny was in Europe for a wedding. Let's go. That's right, folks. I was in Europe for Curtis and Jetta's wedding. It was the most beautiful wedding in the world. Holy cow. I'm so happy for them. Honestly, they're the best. I'm honored that I got to be there. It was literally like the best trip of my whole life. So Curtis and Jenna, thank you for inviting us. It was the coolest thing ever. We went to like Paris and Nice and then two different places in Italy. It was like the most beautiful trip ever. It was so pretty. I haven't been to Europe since I was a little kid and Lord never been before. So it was very cool to like explore and travel because we haven't gotten to do that in a while. Yeah, it was super cool. Oh my gosh, dude. So much has happened since the last time I did a subreddit. I haven't, we haven't even talked about the ghost video either. But yeah, Watcher, who if you don't know is a channel run by Shane and Ryan from BuzzFeed Unsolved, asked if I wanted to do a ghost hunting video with them because of my ghost hunting video. So maybe that's gonna happen at some point. We're still kind of like working out the details. So we'll see if that happens. But honestly, that sounds incredible, dude. I would love to do that. It was really fun doing the ghost hunting stuff. Even though like I don't particularly believe in ghosts, really. I'm open to them, obviously. That's kind of why I did the video because I was like, I wonder if I'll see anything. Thing. It's just kind of fun to do it and experience it because people do have some like insane stories from ghost hunting So let's just say I'd like to create some insane stories of my own Why is Danny's hair back in his newest video critical thinking alert critical thinking alert? You need a critical you need to think critically alert my sister's birthday cake. It slays We ate around the face and now it's in my freezer. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow. I like this honestly I love it the dedication the craftsmanship. This is a beautiful cake I am kind of wondering did you alter the colors of this picture at all? Why do I have like red bags under my eyes? Am I, do I just look like that? Is that just how I look? And they said they ate around the face and now it's in the freezer. Oh God, <laughs> that's terrifying. What the hell dude? I take it all back. I hate the dedication. Terrible idea. <laughs> it's weird all of the things that you don't think about when you're an influencer, like statistically at any given time, there's probably like X amount of people watching one of my videos somewhere in the world. But this is definitely a new one. Like at any given time, there could be like my face in someone's freezer. Just one of those things you don't really think about. I can't get over this ghost hunting angle. Yeah, honestly, shout out to whatever, what's this dude's name? Francois Burjoyce. <laughs> 
I think maybe out of all of the ways I could have pronounced that, that was maybe like the worst. No, wait, why did I say Francois? His name's Francis. What the fuck? Francis Bourgeois. Bourgeois, he's a trained TikToker and he uses this angle all the time in his train videos. I was like, this is like the perfect angle. I feel like for this video because Jake was holding the camera, no matter where he is, I can always have a camera angle of my face to show like my reaction to things. Also one of the top 10 moments of the video, me like sniffing the pee, that camera angle came in so clutch, dude. That might be the best shot I've ever gotten in a video. Me just sniffing pee? What's better than that, huh? Just Danny bent over sniffing a pile of piss. Oh baby, now this is a meme, dude. When I say, can we get some memes in the subreddit? This is what I mean. New fresh meme format straight out of the oven. Look at this. It's me opening a drawer with me in it. And I say, instead of no Bible, no hair. That's a meme format right there, all right? This is what I'm talking about. Upvote this more. How many upvotes does this have? A thousand? This should have at least, how many people are there in the subreddit? 122,000? This should have at least 122,000 upvotes. This is a good meme right here. Dear Danny, my birthday is today. You're invited. Time right now. And they posted it 24 days ago. Shit. Danny looks like Dream, or is this another prank? I've seen people saying that. I don't think I look anything like Dream. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't really see it at all. Like, we don't even have the same color hair. It's a, like a different shade of brown, drastically different faces. We're both just two normal looking guys, all right? And if being normal makes you look exactly the same as someone, then I look like everyone. I look like everyone then. Guys, I think all of Greg should stop posting RIP Danny's hair type posts. He likes his hair. I didn't say I like it, but I do agree. And I feel like it could be hurtful with all the negativity that people are putting on. That's a very nice comment, and I do agree. I think that maybe it's too many comments about my hair. You know, I don't really think it's gotten to me that much, but I would just urge people to think about like, if you made a change to your appearance and you like posted it on Instagram, and then you got like a comment that was just like, no, and it got like 37,000 likes. What that do? What does that do to you? Again, I people are mostly just joking and like kind of in shock, so I get it. I think generally I have probably commented a little little bit too much on my own appearance in videos. I make videos talking about doppelgangers and like having a young face. So I feel like I've, to an extent, I've probably like invited it a little bit, but I think going forward, I'm probably not gonna react to as much stuff about my appearance because you know, it's just, it's just my face, man. Pay attention to the content, you know? Pay attention to the memes. Pay attention to the jokes. I should be able to have like newts for hair and nobody comments on it. People, just listen to what I'm saying, all right? That's the point of the videos. Danny gotta update his profile picture. Honestly, should I? I do need a new profile picture, honestly. I'm not gonna make it this, but at some point I'm gonna need a new profile picture. Not that I'm committing to this hairstyle. That's not why. I just think that I need a new one because I've had this profile picture for so long. I'm wearing one of these like scoop neck t-shirts. Those aren't even like a, a thing anymore. It's like a t-shirt made for Squidward. Says I'm not gonna comment about my appearance anymore and then immediately reacts to something. Roasting my own shirt. The bald trinity. Yes. The prophecy is coming to fruition. Now I just need to get the other two to shave their heads. Or I'll do it myself. And the prophecy, prophecy will be complete. complete. Okay, I think that's enough for the top of the month. Let's see if there's anything hot right now. Anything good that people have been talking about lately. If I introduce my girlfriend to Danny's videos, does that make our relationship incestuous? Because all Greg's are blood related. Um, technically yes. As long as she wasn't related to you before you introduced her to the videos. I'll make an exception just this once. I can tell you really like her, so you're good. All right, well, I think that's it for all the memes and goofs and wackiness for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.